Hi guys, yeah, welcome to BSSD Nation. So if this is your first time watching the video from BSSD Nation, do make sure to subscribe and you hit the bell button so we can tell you more to get any video. So today we are going to be talking about urination, also called the mechanism of intuition. So pick your paper and your pen and let's get started. Hi guys. Yeah, welcome back. So, I said I was going to be talking about mectuition. Mectuition. Now, the word mectuition is from the word mecturate. Mecturate. And the word mecturate means voiding. And the word voiding means urination. Urination. So, in this topic, we are going to be talking about how we urinate. So, um, scientifically speaking, you can just call it physiology of maturation. Physiology of maturation. Or you call it the physiology of urination. Physiology of urination. So, I'm going to clean the board and then we start with the topic proper. So, stay tuned. Yeah, welcome back. So, mixturation, to understand mixturation, we have to talk about four to five organs. So, the first one is the urinary bladder. So, the urinary bladder and the urethra below. So, this is the urinary bladder. And then, the spinal cord so the spinal cord let's put the spinal cord right here so the brain so let's take this for the brain now maturation occurs this mechanism it occurs between all, I mean, within all these structures. But how? So, for mutilation to occur, for urination to occur, there must be a stimuli. It's just like our homeostasis, and stimuli means change. So, which change is going to occur? What is the kind of change that will happen? Now, the change is urine of about 300 to 400 mils is going to be accumulated within the urinary bladder and now on the wall of the urinary bladder we have some cells there they are called baroreceptor or you can also call them stretch receptors so they are called stretch receptors because they are sensitive to stretch they receive the impulse of stretch so when the urinary bladder is filled with urine of about 300 to 400 mils so it is going to extend it is going to stretch out so, the first thing that will happen is that these stretch receptors, they are going to receive the impulse and transmit it to the sacral region of the spinal cord. So, this is the spinal cord now. Spinal cord. So, this is the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder. So, these are the two ureters. The two ureters. And this is the urethra. Urethra. So, the urethra it has two sphincters. So the one on top here is called the internal sphincter, internal sphincter, and this one here is called the external sphincter, external sphincter. Now, as I was saying, when this urinary bladder is filled with you know, about 300 mils, so the stretch receptors they are going to sense it that this this bladder is stretching, so they are going to sense that the sense change, and then they are going to send an impulse. Impulse means message so they are going to send the message to us to the sacral region of the spinal cord sacral region of the spinal cord so after that in adults the impulse is going to ascend into the brain but which center 
is going to ascend into a center called the pons. Pons. So we call it the pond. So this pond it has two parts. So the first one, let's say A, is called the pond time storage. Storage. And this B is called pond time maturation. Pond time maturation. So when the impulse ascends to the brain, it's going to go to the pond storage. So I, I, I mean the impulse is going to go to the pons. But if the person is not yet ready to urinate, the impulse is going to go towards to the pond storage. The impulse is going to be stored there. But when the person is ready to urinate, it will cross over into the pond maturation. So the pond time maturation is not going to send that impulse to the muscle of the bladder. So the muscle of the bladder. So the muscle of the bladder is called the trussor muscle. The trussor muscle. So the trussor muscle is going to what? It's going to squeeze. It's going to contract. It's going to squeeze. And then this internal sphincter is, go is also going to receive impulse from the brain. And then it's going to do what? It's going to relax. And when it relaxes, urine is going to flow to the what? Into the urethra. And then with conscious effort, this external center is going to be relaxed. And when it is relaxed or opened, urine is going to come out and then voiding occurs. And that is the mechanism of the intuition in adults. Now, a quick recap. I said when the urinary bladder is filled with a urine of about 300 to 400 minutes. So, the stretch receptors on the wall of the bladder, they are going to sense the stretch and then they are going to send the message to the walls, to the sacral region of the spinal cord. And after that, the impulse is going to ascend to the brain. If the person is not ready to urinate, the impulse will be stored in palm storage. But if the person is ready to urinate, it will cross over into the palm, I mean into the palm time intuition rather. So, and then the palm time intuition in turn is going to send an impulse to the electrical module and to send an impulse to the internal sphincter. Impulse this message. So which kind of message is going to send through the tracer muscle of the bladder? It's going to tell the retrusor muscle of the bladder to squeeze. And when it squeezes, it is going to force the ring out. And then the impulse of relaxation will come to the internal sphincter as well. And then it is going to open. And when it opens, with conscious effort, the external sphincter is going to open and then urination will occur. And that is maturation in adults. But in infants, when the, when the urine is filled with, I mean, when the urinary bladder is filled with urine, so the impulse is going to be sent to the sacral region. But the impulse will not ascend. It will not ascend. So the impulse is just going to come back to the electrician nozzle. And then the electrician nozzle is going to squeeze. Internal sphincter is going to relax and the urination will occur. And that is why infants are unable to do it, are unable to control um, their maturation. Because their brain is not involved in this. So they don't know when to urinate or when to not. So that is because the impulse is not going to their brain and their brain is not coordinating it. So for adults, it will go into the pontine storage. So, and then you know, I mean, it, it, it will go into the pons, either the pontine storage or pontine intuition, depending on what you want to do. But for infants, the impulse does not reach the brain. It comes back directly after reaching the spinal cord. So their brain is not involved. And that is that in today's video. So I thank you that you enjoyed this video. So if you do, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. I mean, like the video. And if this is your first time watching the video from DSSG Nation, do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so we can notify you about the video. Hi guys.